Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to micro class day two. Today we're what's that? You can't. How's that? Better? All right, then let's restart. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to micro class day two. Hope you had a great first A day and first B day. I guess I should say good morning to those of you who decided to wake up at a reasonable time and watch your videos, and good evening to those of you who stayed up late last night playing video games and watching TV and decided to roll out of bed at 5 p.m. Either way, we're glad to have you here. Today in micro class, we are going to begin to learn how to touch type. Now, what does that mean, touch type? Well. Have you ever seen anybody stare straight at a computer screen while they're typing and on the keyboard without ever looking down once and not make any mistakes? That's what touch typing is, and that's what we're going to start to learn today. Now this is going to be a little bit of a long process, and we're going to start off slow and easy so that we don't get discouraged. But what it is going to require of you is a few things. One is I'm going to need you to be watching this video right now from a computer with a keyboard. That means if you're watching it from an iPhone, a tablet, a cell phone of any kind, you're going to need to switch over to a computer with a keyboard. I will give you a chance to hit the pause button and switch on over now. Great. The second thing it's going to require of you is that we are going to be learning a new website that we will go to after we send in our daily emails. So from now on, you'll be watching a YouTube video, sending me in your daily attendance and participation assignment, and then going on to this new website, which I'm going to show you right now. So go ahead, get a piece of paper and a pencil ready if you do not already, and you're going to write down this website, and I'm going to show you exactly how to sign in. All right, guys, to sign in, the first thing you're going to need to do is get to the website. So this is our home page. You're going to go up to your address bar and type in precision-academy.typingclub.com. Type it in just like this. Once you get here, you'll go down to where it says username. And everybody has their own username, and it's very easy to remember. Your username is the first letter of your first name, followed by your entire last name. So for example, if your name was John Smith, you would type in J, as it's the first letter of your first name, and Smith, your entire last name. The password for you is going to be the word password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, and then log in. Once you log in, you're going to see two different lesson plans that you can choose. Today, and for the future, we're going to work on typing basics and choose typing basics. So we'll click start. And it's going to take us to a page that shows us all of our lessons. If you want to scroll down, you'll see there's a hundred lessons here. We're not going to do them all at the same time. In fact, today, we are only going to do five. We're going to do numbers one, two, three, four, and five. And when you're done with this, you're done with today's class. So, you'll click on lesson number one, and it's going to give you some quick tips. When you're sitting down at the computer, make sure that you are at a fancy restaurant. You want to be sitting straight up, not slouching. You want to make sure that the computer screen is right in front of your eyes so that you're not having to look up or down at it. And the next thing you're going to do is very important. Take a look down at your keyboard and find the F and J keys. If you notice, they have two little bumps on them. Right now, go ahead and put your two pointer fingers on those bumps and close your eyes and see if you can feel them. These two bumps are where you will always put your two pointer fingers. The rest of your fingers will go right next to those. So, your middle left finger will be on the D, your ring finger on your left hand will be the S and your pinky will be the A. On your right hand you'll have your pointer on the J where you can feel that bump, your middle finger on the K, your ring finger on the L, 
and your pinky finger on the colon and semicolon key. This is what we call the home row. And you're always going to come back to these keys after you hit a separate or different key. For example, if you had your fingers how they are now and needed to hit the U key, you'll go ahead and reach up with your pointer finger, hit the U key, and then bring that finger back down here to the J key. Never look at the keyboard again. This is key. I want you to do your best to never look down and to only use feel and the keyboard screen in front of you. Soon, you'll type like a pro. Now, once you get through those tips, here's the keyboard screen I was telling you about. It's going to show you the keyboard screen, and it's going to show you the key that you're supposed to hit, as well as the finger that you should use. So right now you see the J is highlighted. That's because J up here is the first letter that you're supposed to type. If you hit that J, you'll see that it highlights green. You did a good job. You hit J again. Great. Now you'll notice there's nothing here. It's moved down to the space bars highlighted, and you're using your thumb. Both of your thumbs are going to go on the space bar. If it's your right thumb you're more comfortable with or your left thumb, you can use either one. Now the F key is highlighted, and it's your left pointer finger. You're going to need to follow these guides on the fingers to find out which fingers you're supposed to use. For this first lesson, you can see up here we're only using F's and J's, so that's going to be your pointer finger on each hand. On our following lessons, we'll use our middle fingers, our ring fingers, and our pinky fingers. All right, guys, if you have any questions about that, feel free to email me at the email address that I gave you last class, which is cwekba.precisionacademy at gmail.com. Now, you have your assignment for today, which is to complete lessons one through five, but I would also like you to email me the name of the website that you will be going to each day as your participation and attendance. Again, that is the name of the website that I just showed you that we'll go to every day for your participation assignment. Email that to me right now as soon as this video is done. It's the, the website I, I just showed you. So if you need to rewind, and go back, do it. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Have a great day.